Hello, or should I say Zdazvetsia, i dobro pozhalovat v Brian's Computer Retreat. In today's episode, I will be unboxing a computer I ordered from Russia. This is an 8-bit microcomputer from the end of the Soviet era, and this machine is essentially entirely Soviet. The Apogee BK01TS I have here is based on the Soviet Radio 86 platform. That was a computer that you could buy entirely Soviet parts for and make yourself from a radio magazine. I will likely be doing a full video on this down the road, but this is just going to be a quick unboxing and I'll tell you a few things I really like about it so far. I bought this computer on eBay and had it shipped from Russia. The eBay listing was very sparse, so I was very excited to see that it came in its original box. The outer box displays some information about the computer and has a photo of a woman looking very pleased with her purchase. After removing a few pieces of packaging, the first thing that comes out is the box containing the computer itself. We'll take a look at that in just a minute. Next out is a thick plastic bag full of documentation and cables. This is really exciting, and I cannot wait to look into more of this. The final box contains the power adapter, which will be one of my hurdles to getting this machine up and running. Since I live in the US, we have 120 volt outlets. The power switch on the power supply is actually very clunky and satisfying. I could actually sit here and click it on and off a number of times throughout the day. Unlike the power supplies I'm used to in the US, the base of this one does not have much information on it. Next, I've unboxed the computer, which as you can see is a lovely light blue color. Unsurprisingly, I immediately got distracted by reading the manual. Come on, Brian, we have an actual unboxing to finish here. On the back, there are four connectors. Power, video, cassette, and RGB. There's also a reset switch and a port that seems to be similar to a Commodore user port. The keyboard, I thought, was just a standard dead flesh keyboard, much like a Spectrum, but it actually feels like hard plastic. It doesn't exactly have much travel and is certainly no Model M, but it is nowhere near as bad as I thought it might be. You can also see that the keyboard follows a standard Russian layout and has some Latin characters underneath. One of the languages the Apogee speaks is basic, so Latin characters may be needed in that. We'll find out more when I learn enough Russian to actually read the programming manuals. Next up is the bag of accessories. From what it looks like, this has some really interesting stuff inside. First out of the pile is a standard DIN cable. After looking at the manual, it seems to be the cable for RGB output out of the special RGB connector on the TS model. Next up is the Y cable that goes from one DIN to two other DINs. This seems to be the cable to connect to a special cassette recorder for data storage. There's some sort of connector that the previous owner seems to have been experimenting with. This connects to the equivalent of a Commodore user port on the back of the machine. The video cable on this machine seems to have a hardwired modulator at the end. It's not quite the same connector as we use in the US, so I'm not sure how we would hook this up in the US, but I believe it would have tied in directly to a Soviet CCAM television. Next I played a little bit with the power cord. Obviously I have nothing to plug this into in the US. I seem to have two copies of the same cassette, which I think has demo programs for the Apogee. I'm not sure what's on these yet, but I have recorded them into GarageBand just in case. I was absolutely awestruck by the next thing here. We have an almost complete set of programmer references for the computer, as well as full electrical diagrams of the system. 
While I have seen stuff like Commodore manuals that are very extensive, including an electrical diagram seems above and beyond compared to what we got in the US. This will hopefully make it easier for me to make some adapters to make this work in the United States. The final little package here seems to be a circuit that the machine's previous owner was building. Looking at some of the manuals that came with the computer, it seems like it might be an adapter for RGB so that the machine could be hooked up to a standard television or something using RGB output. Well, I think that's it for today's video. As I said, I don't have a step-up transformer ready, and I'm not entirely sure what type of video signal this machine puts out. So I'm going to need to brush up on my Russian and start reading some of the manuals and forums about this thing. Hopefully, sometime in the not-too-distant future, I'll be able to come back with another video about the Apogee BK01TS I bought. I am also working on a video on the Palm Life Drive. I finally have some footage captured for that, but it's going to be a much bigger project, so I thought I might put this video out first. Thanks for watching, and I hope I'll see you again. Until next time, do svidaniya.